Hello and welcome. You listen to African States, the program that brings you the knowledge about Africa continent. My name is Kindama. I'm your host of today's program. On this edition, we're going to talk about the situation that's going on in social media about this uh, prophet or pastor, whatever you may call, um, Alpha Lukau. I think that's his name, Alpha Lukau. Yes, that's his name. Uh, not too sure where he's from. He's from DRC or from Zimbabwe, but he lives in South Africa, where he owns a church. Um, very recently, I think it was uh, last Friday on the 23rd, he came up. Um, he resurrected his friend from the dead. This guy here comes along, brings a man in a coffin, passes his hand on top of this guy, touch his belly and here you are the men's work up and become like uh, somebody who I don't know have been sleeping for a couple of hours or something like that but what I would like to talk uh, about this situation is uh, how easily our people have been um, lied this kind of th situation goes on way back where all these priests are being manipulating uh, the poor because they want to get more money um, instead of giving the real service that the people need they um, just lie to the to, to the people because most of these people they don't know how to write and read they just believe this is the church today becomes one of the way where Africans want to hold on they don't have anywhere else to go they think like uh, okay we've got a chest this is the man of God the way they claim this is the man of the God and this is the one going to save us I mean my question is if really this guy want to save uh, the entire population in, in the continent why don't he start to uh, building up the brain of the people not destroying people's brain by building up by give them incentive of reading which is needed because people need to think because we don't have that ability of thinking we just lost that a sense of, of, of thinking questioning because people don't question no more I don't know if they, there was a time where people have been questioning but I really like to question I don't believe what this pastor uh, did. This also comes along with uh, Pastor Omotoso, I think. He's a Nigerian guy who is uh, currently uh, in jail in, in, in South Africa as well. Because in South Africa, they've got all this... Uh, I mean, not only in South Africa, you find all these kind of priests all over, all, all over the continent where they've been there lying for the entire uh, continent. You know, each and every country, you've got one who consider himself as a as a as a priest or as a um, uh, man of God. There is this guy as well, uh, Pastor Bashiri. I think he's from uh, Zimbabwe, but also live in South Africa. He's being under investigation. He came along once. Uh, there was a video that was circulating on um, on the internet where he says that uh, he can fly or walk on the air. And at the end, it was revealed there was two people or two men holding a stick on one side, and then he hauled uh, up there, and he was walking. Uh, so that is kind of thing that is going on for 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 all all this this priests. So there are more scammers. They're just getting money from the poor, because that's the only way people believe. Um, Soon, I will be able to uh, bring you a story about how is the church, where it comes from, Christianity. We talk about, uh, for example, in Europe, how it is, what the church is. Because if you go in many churches in Europe, they're not that full as a church in, here, here in Africa. Because in Africa, we've got that uh, sense of we must go to church in order to be saved. Well, we don't know exactly how the future the future holds for uh, each and every, uh, every each and every one. We don't know exactly how does it hold. 
So, and you see in the church, most of the people, or not, well, I won't say most of it, the, the church is a place where you find people committing more uh, crimes, committing all this uh, atrocity. They are more liars. My father always says that church is a, is a how to call it, what was the, the term that he was using, is a bush where you find many monkeys hiding. You understand? So... It's kind of a forest. Yeah, it's a term. It's a forest where many monks are hiding. Yeah, and you find many there just hiding. Uh, try to uh, say that uh, we are saving people. We are doing this to people. Uh, if you see closer, because now there come uh, more pictures about this Mr. Um, Lukaku or Lukau. Where apparently this guy, the deceased, the one who was resurrected. He's a cameraman um, of his congregation. He's been doing this job for some time, or oh, taking a picture, you know, uh, in order to to lie, you know. And there is one particular guy there. Uh, I don't know where he's a South African. There's a white guy over there. Uh, you see on other pictures, he being close friend. The way the I mean the, the way the picture shows that this guy had been being a friend for some time or so. So this is kind of a plan scam what they did in order to come along and lie to us. So but this is an ongoing story, but I believe uh, uh South African government will be able to come along and um, give some uh, uh explanation or the police at least maybe they need arrest this uh this this priest because the way it is is this kind of manipulating the people making people believe something which is not existing make people just um cheering you know uh, on, on 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 this man here so this this kind of thing that need to be stopped this kind of priest need to be stopped it cannot continue in heaven uh, the same priests uh, lying to the population. These guys, they need to be stopped. This is what I want to say. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, will be able to take your... Um, what to say? Um, yeah. I'll stop here. Thank you for listening. And see you soon.